So, secondly, our focus is on the brothers, uh, those who live next in vicinity to us, and also to a larger extent, uh, to the, it extends to the whole world, those who live also far away. In today's context, you can use that problem now, act locally, think globally. So that is the uh, mindset today we will have. So how you act locally, it has an impact in global level, you should know that. How you treat your own brother in your house where you live, that is the way you are going to treat others and also treat the environment. So our relationship with the environment is flawed. You know why? Because we are unable to treat our brother as brother, as neighbor. Yeah. We treat him as a member most of the time. Okay, he's a member of my congregation, member of my society. In that way, you don't find the real fulfillment of human existence. When you find him as a neighbor, yes, you really find the fulfillment. So that is how we are trained to see. We should train our brothers to see each one of us in the community as brother, not a member. So there is a vast difference there. So Jesus says you are all brothers. You are all brothers. Matthew 23, 8. So we need to extend that term to others, brothers. All the neighbors are our brothers, there is no doubt. But sometimes brothers have a very bad connotation from the Bible itself. Hey, in the neighbor, what happened? Brother killed the other brother. So that is, uh, that is, it's not sufficient that word, brother, because people kill each other. Remember our Sikh and his brothers, what happened? All the Abrahamic traditions, they kill each other. Brothers are killed, eliminated. So that is how Abrahamic traditions, they do business. And actually Jesus finds another word for us. Servants, sometimes we call I, that Even that term also he alters. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. Now we are moving to another word. So, in Jesus' teaching, three years, if you examine, each year he teaches different and he confronts himself next year. Third year he confronts himself. Even regarding prayer also, no? first year he says, uh, you pray to your Heavenly Father uh, alone, close down the windows and doors, and you pray to the Father. The next year he says, where there are two or three you are gathered in my name. And the third year he says, you don't have to pray at all. Heavenly Father knows before you ask. See, three teachings different, confronting himself. So, it is not confrontation, I would see. There are different approaches to prayer. That's why Jesus is telling that. So, also for human relations, there are different approaches. He is giving us the possibilities. So, we can use one of them, which is more effective. So I think it's not a confrontation, it is the possibilities. I think Jesus was magnanimous and he would offer hundreds of possibilities. If you don't like one, you choose the other. Still, your relationship is valid. It is beatified, it is blessed. So friends, I like friends. For everything that I have learned from my father, I have made known to you. In friends, there are no secrets, isn't it? We share everything. You don't even tell your father and mother, but you talk to friends. 
Even you talk, don't talk to bishop. Don't even talk to confessors sometimes. But when you confide with, with your friend, it is a deeper confession. It's a sacrament. It's a sacrament. So that's why Jesus could say, I call you friends. There's nothing hidden. We are equals. There is no discrimination. Nothing. There is no hierarchy. No. There are no social archetypal roles, pre-established roles, like bishop, father, mother, grandfather, provincial, rector, superior, IAS officer, like collector, pope, pre-established roles. Just opposite to all of them, friends. Only one role can replace all of them. In fact, those roles are distortions. All the roles, what we play today as bishop or parish priest, superiors, it's a distortion. We get distortion about ourselves. Our minds are inflated beyond our imagination. But if we can friend, that is a balance level. Where you can balance everything. Humanity needs balance today. Because there are too many things going on. Caste system, hierarchy, rich and poor economic system, individualism, anthropocentrism, extreme anthropocentrism, extreme individualism, so on and so forth. So in this confusion, one word comes clear, brother, servant, friend, that is good old relationships from the beginning very easy to follow. And also it is in our DNA, in our deoxyribonucleic acid. This is the relationship, what we are pushed to. It's an evolution. That is an evolutionary trait to be a friend. We bond together. We are called to go and enter into relationship with other human beings. That's it. That's it. In order to experience to the fullest this kind of uh, relationships, we need to be connected all the time with the yesterday's theme, <laughs> with God. Otherwise, we are unable to maintain <laughs> today's theme. Yesterday's theme is connected to today. That's why I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. John 15, 5. Yes. Yes. Today, if you think human relationships are uh, facing setbacks, setbacks, I think because yesterday's theme is not perspective. It is not practiced. So we should be open, very open with that. If you practice the yesterday's theme, the relationship with God, I think according to John 15, 5, it should be easy. We should be producing good fruit, good fruit. Here I want to show you each tree is known by its own fruit. Figs are not gathered in brambles. Brambles don't produce figs. Human ecology, yes. Everything depends on each and every person. We know not all human beings can produce figs. You should know that, yes. 
Today morning I was talking about Homo sapiens as a toddler species. Just we are at the threshold of human evolution. So today you can't expect from the species to be perfect. No. Jesus is a model of what you can be maybe after 10 billion years or 10 million years. Jesus is one model what you can be. You can't be like Jesus immediately today and tomorrow. He is the landmark, the bookmark of our own future. Everybody can become like Jesus. Believe me. Believe me. Buddha, all those great sages, we love to talk about them, no? All of them are possibilities. They have come at the beginning of our human evolution and they are pointing out the possibility of becoming like them. Yes, of course. It doesn't mean that all the 8 billion people are Christ and Buddha and Mahavira. No, no. Human species can achieve that. Maybe after a few million years. Some people can achieve it now through grace and through their own, uh, what is that, uh, genes. For them easy to become, some people. So remember, in a community like ours here, not all the trees can produce trees. That is a reality. Reality. You should treat each tree by its own properties. Then comes the mistake. We know that some brothers can't produce figs. That is their biology. Biology. Today we were talking about genetics. We understand much about our own species. Gone are the days we were imagining some stuff about humans. But today we know because of genetics, there is a, a code or double helix called DNA. Yeah. Christianity believed in there is no determinism. <coughs> there is no predestination. But today DNA proves. Talavidi, Brahmins told there is a Talavidi. But Christianity was the first one to oppose to know that is wrong, that is stupid. But today, science is telling us that is true. DNA. They can tell everything by deciphering your DNA. When are you going to die? At what, what cost you are going to die? What are the risk factors? Gundam. Gundam. What are the risk factors? Moon Gundam, Mahal Gundam, heart attack. When are you going to face everything you can be inside? Adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine. It is a written, determined book of every individual. Human ecology, yes. Everybody. There are good. Fake trees of the same thing, there are brahmins. Never forget that. Not all of us are saints in a, in a uh, community like this. So we should be able to really show empathy, exercise, compassion, tolerance towards our neighbor, to our brother. So today, we practically know, especially in the community where there is a superior, he knows this brother is again and again doing the same thing. He is not doing purposely, he should understand that. He is a brand brother. 
He can produce only branches, thorns. So he is designed that way. Brandles are also a resource. Don't forget that. That is not inferior. That is what you can produce. That's how you respond. You try out a red tree. You go, I want to be good. At the most two days. At the most one week. One month. That's how you make red tree every year. So if you make red tree every year, some people make red tree two times a day. Some sisters make every month. Every month. But even then, they couldn't change. This is DNA brothers. So when you know this brother is a bramble, show him compassion. More love. More interest. More focus. You need to help that brother. It doesn't mean that you should cut him off, chastise him, abuse him. No. That is not right. That is God's way. That is God's dominion. That is God's dominion. Most of the time we expect from the superiors, like Bishop, no? All the time, priests want to expect good things from the bishop. He is also a human being, we forget that. We think about role play. We don't think about his essence as an ordinary human being. That is the mistake. Even superiors, they are human beings. They commit mistakes. They are fallible, full of mistakes. They are equal like us. So when you relate with the authorities, you relate with compassion again to that brother, solidarity, social friendship, universal fraternity. In that way you should relate. You are expecting too much, even though he is a bishop or a superior. If he is a bramble, how can he give you fix? Tell me. How can he give you fix? He can't do that. He will offer only thoughts. Of course we can try, I'm not telling we are at the mercy of default settings. We can override default settings and we can try to be achieve good things. I know that, I know that. But still we fall into default settings. We are programmed like that. We fall into default. That's it. Factory resets. That's all. That's how we should understand and move on. Hey, we are thoughtless. Did I say that? We are thoughtless. All of us. Whether he is a pope, pope is also having, uh, what is that, 46 genes. I am also having 46, uh, no, chromosomes, no, chromosomes, yeah. So I have 46, pope is also having. He is also having added in one in time inside us, and I am also having the four elements. Everybody from a baby to your book, everybody is sharing the same DNA. Pope doesn't know which you don't know. Yeah. Same thing. What Pope knows, you know the same thing. He doesn't have one gene extra to believe that he is superior to all of us. No. In fact, he says many times, we are all equal. Siya maiguali. Many speeches he would have heard. Siya maiguali. Siya maiguali. Siya maiguali. We are all the same. Same. So that should, we should remember. In our community, fix. Don't think those who produce fix are good people. Don't think those who produce brambles, they are bad people. No, no. This is the reality. These are the process. This is created by God. God himself created in myself. Fig tree and a bramble tree. Go to God. Blame him. Don't blame the particular brother or the particular situation. Blame God. He told you, come and talk to me. Why don't you use that? 
option first and then go and discuss with your brother later. Go and yell at him, tell him you are the cause for all the, all the problems. Yes, in fact, he is the cause. When you celebrate, this is God who gave me good health. Why can't you say the same thing? This is God that gave me a cancer. What makes you think that God gives you only good things? He doesn't give you bad things. Everything comes from God. We have learned as children from the beginning. Then what makes you to forget? When setbacks come, you blame humans. The same God you need to blame. He is the cause of everything. In that way, we can liberate our brothers from abuse. So human ecology, that is the greatest, greatest resource. Whether it is a faith God or Brahma, that is the resource. We can use it. You can use it. So today, let us examine our human ecology. Manidam. I told you, you are an ecosystem and you contain resources like other ecosystems, no? they contain gold, silver, fossil fuel, iron ore, <laughs> thousands of resources they contain. In fact, we know them too well. And they want the resources what we contain, we don't buy anything. This ecosystem is unexplored so far. It is full of resources. Yeah, so far never taken anything out. And that is the thing where you find out. Pope Francis writing in Fratelli Tutti, 54th paragraph, how human ecology played an important role during the pandemic last year and this year. He writes as follows. Look at the upstanders. Not people were bystanders. During the pandemic, we demonstrated the best of who we are. The best of who we are. This is what we will be in the future. All the 8 billion people, this is what we are. Capable of, full of potential. So there is no room for any frustration. So I would like to ask the brother to read Fratelli to T54. Who is the next one? Anybody here? Brother? Brother, you? You read? Oh, you? You, you. Okay, please. The recent pandemic enabled us to recognize and appreciate once more all those around us who, in the midst of fear, responded by putting their lives on the line. They began to realize that our lives are interwoven with a sustained by ordinary people, valiantly shaping the decisive events of our shared history. Doctors, nurses, pharmacists, storekeepers, and supermarket workers, cleaning personnel, caretakers, transport workers, men and women working to provide essential services and public <coughs> safety. Volunteers, priests, and religious, they understood that no one is saved alone. Yeah. In the beginning of the pandemic, you think what we uh, were brainwashed by media, no? Technology will save us in the 21st century. Did the technology save the, <laughs> the first victims? Okay, the economy will save everything. Did the economy save? Religious leaders, my God will save everybody. Did any God save? Politics, they told we are the best problem solvers. In fact, they are problem creators and all that. So, do you think politicians able to do that? Nothing. Out, 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 out. Only one, human ecology. Human ecology. The resources what humans contain inside of each and every one of them. All those people, they brought out their resources out. 
empathy, love, tolerance, sharing, sacrificing, etc., etc. So this is the possibility where we find solutions in the future. Pope Francis writes in the paragraph number 88, he uses the word called law of ecstasy. Yesterday I taught in the law of pedia. You remember that? Pedia, passion, death, resurrection. That's the law of the universe. Here, the law of ecstasy. That means going out of myself to enter into relationship with another person. It is also uh, innate. In other words, it is in our DNA. It is innate. It is not something I want to do that. No, you are forced to do that. To enter to relation with that. Whether it's a bramble or whether it's a fig tree, it doesn't matter. You relate. You relate. Okay, brother. Next brother, can you read that? Yeah. You can pass. Those who don't want to read, you can pass to the next brother. Yeah. Okay, please. In the depths of every heart, Love creates bonds and expands existence, but it draws people out of themselves and holds others. Since we were made for love, in each one of us, a law of ecstasy seems to operate. The lover goes outside the self to find a fuller existence in another. For this reason, man always has a take up challenges of moving beyond himself. Yeah, it is something innate. It is forces us to go to another brother because that is love. We long for it. We don't want to uh, be separated all the time. You know our people in the village, no? There will be a, a tree like that. See the beautiful tree, by the way? That is our Biggest brother here in this campus, brother rain tree. In English, it's called rain tree, rain tree. So that is the thing which is the biggest here. So if when you go there, say hello to him. So remember our India. You can say thank you. So the rain tree. Imagine our people in the village. They are inside the house now. And when the day breaks, you should see our Muslim men now, they run to the tree. They sit down there and last it. Sorry. They run, they don't want to stay home. They go there and mingle with the other people and talk anything, last it. That is the scenario. That is the ecstasy. Get up and go. They can't wait. For the day break, even little dark, you can see some people in the tea shops. Remember that? They go to the tea shop and drink tea and they converse with people. So that is the image you should have. So I already read it yesterday, the Laula Tusi paragraph number 240. Again, I want to read it for you in Trinitarian dynamism. Yesterday, I was using this word, uh, this text. The human person grows more, matures more, and is sanctified more to the extent that he or she enters into relationships, going out from themselves to live in communion with God, with others, and with all creatures. I think this text I've been reading every day. I love that text. All right, today, in spite of telling all that in my previous slides, it is the reality that shows a bad stuff happening individuals. That is what is going right now. We are afraid, really, that we are drifting into devolution, not evolution. Evolution is something going forward, it's like Devolution is something going backwards. So again we are going back. We should be going towards altruism. 
How to use some means? Empathy, love, kindness, tenderness, etc., etc. <coughs> Individualism is going out of it. No empathy. Opposite. All right. Disinterested and selfless concern for the well being of others is known as the altruism. Individualism is extremely selfish attitude. All right. I want to show you. Let us go back four million years. That is what anthropologists say that our human species go that far, four million years, 40 lakhs of years. That is our mile age for the Homo sapiens. Our ancestors in the savanna in Africa, uh, over four million years, let's say, even now today, it is applicable. You, when the danger comes, when some lion comes to attack you, you will not be able to run like a koala or a deer. We didn't develop that. But there you see animals individualism. They have to escape individually. That's how they develop the speed. We did not develop speed because we don't have to. Also, rabbit, when the fox comes, rabbit runs and enters the hole, no? So when the lion comes, no human is looking for a hole to go and make a tight fit. No, nobody like it. Also, they don't climb trees like monkeys. Monkeys are experts. We could have been experts. If you did that, you also could have been expert climbing trees, but you, did, you don't have to. Or you didn't even develop wings to fly away like birds. Or fight back like an elephant. You don't have muscles to fight like a lion. Then why? Why didn't we do individually? We could have done individually. Yet today also some danger comes, I can run on my own and escape. Any one of the smalls. Our in animal kingdom, especially in primates, baby monkey is holding the mother, isn't it? He has to hold the fur. But in human baby, who is holding the baby? Mother is holding it. Just the opposite. And the eye contact. When mother is giving a milk to a baby, nursing, mother establishes eye contact. Baby. Most of the babies are fed at the back, all right, at the back. So there is no eye contact involved. Sometimes cow can see, but the baby and mother can establish that all the time. If humans did not band together, they perished. So when the danger came, we did not run away individually, but we band together. Amma, Appa, Mama, Tata, Friend, Machi, we run and band together. Otherwise, you will perish. You don't have to run because the eye contact, I look for you and you look for me. That ecstasis, even in danger, it is displayed the most extreme. In danger. In good situations, yes, we see that. But in danger, we go and seek other human beings. Yeah? That is how our survival was assured. From such a social bonding came lasting attachment. Attachment. So we are naturally inclined to seek the other human being. That is what I would like to say other human being. But today, unfortunately, because of invasion of technology, today people have become individual today. Here is Homo sapiens. Some more information I want to give you. I contact the two species of chimpanzee and Homo sapiens are the only three mammalian species to make eye contact while nursing. And Bonobo chimps and Homo sapiens are the only two species to make eye contact during sexual intercourse. There are four tips now. 
orang utam mana bo, what is it? Anak orang gorilla, anjing pants. These are these are the great apes. They are very closely related to human beings. Almost 99.9 percent identical with the human DNA. So the bonobo chimp, uh, that is 98 percent sharing the same DNA like humans. The bonobo chimp, while having sex, he can establish the eye contact. Usually animals do the doggy position. It is called mounting from the back having sex. But here, Bonobo chimps missionary position. Only humans employ the missionary position. That means face to face. They do sex. So Bonobo chimps alone. Bonobo chimps. You Google when you know, up to the top, and you will gather some information. Only they can establish this kind of relationship. Only our species can experience female orgasms. Only females can ex experience. Only four females are receptive year around. Those are four apes I'm talking about. Humans have survived by sophisticated and social bonding characterized by unconditional attachment, forgiveness, gratitude, and affectionate eye contact. So that is what Pope Francis is writing here. The possibility of creating a, 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 a balanced society through our human ecology. Fraternity, the solidarity, fraternity, all those things are human ecology. From within you, the sensibility is not talking about technology or economy or politics or religion. Talks about only the resources what humans contain. So that is the point I want to make. See, through human ecology, you can envisage and engender an open world. An open world means a world balanced in everything. Maybe garden of another garden of Eden. We can create, we can go back to the garden of Eden through recognizing our own potentials inside. If you contribute, you can create, you can envisage and engender an open world. Brother, can you read paragraph number 87, please? Human beings are so gay that they cannot live. Develop and find fulfillment except the sincere gift of self progress no one can experience the true beauty of life without relating to others, without having real place to love. This is part of the mystery of authentic human existence. Life exists where there is bonding, communion, fraternity, and life is stronger than death when it is built on true relationship and bonds of fidelity. On the contrary, there is no life when you claim to be self-sufficient and live as islands in these attitudes that prevails. The last sentence is about individuals. individuals. The rest of the paragraph is about our altruism, altruism, who we are. So, you have to read again. The PowerPoint will be sent to you. Did you send already? Very good. You are the PowerPoint already. So read again and again in order to grasp the meaning of it. Mahatma Gandhi developed the solidarity and the social friendship, universal fraternity. He is encyclical. So at the age in 1905, he wrote everything. So today we need to know this concept of Swadesh, Swaraj, and Sarvodaya. Because Pope Francis is writing in two encyclicals, Lauda Tosi and Pratel Duti, every page is tainted with these three ideas Swadeshi, Swaraj, and Sarvodaya. That's it. Again and again, he uses different words. He doesn't use the Swadeshi, Swaraj. For Swadeshi, he calls for neighborliness. 
the love of a neighbor, fraternity very directly, that is Swadeshi. Love of my neighbor, Swadeshi. Neighborliness. Mahatmadhyami puts it. Swaraj is Anam, righteousness, ethics. If I am a person of Swaraj, that means self-rule, if I can self-rule with good ethics, the nation is going to reflect the nation of ethics. If I am giving place for evil like greed and selfishness, the nation is also going to be a selfish nation, greedy nation, violent nation. That is for us. Pope is also calling for ethics in every page. The erosion of ethics has ended up in the ecological crisis. All the problems are outcome of the erosion of values and ethics. That's what he writes. And some more they are. Thomas Aquinas developed into a one beautiful word, common good. <laughs> Solidarity. That is the Sarvodaya. So Pope Francis is writing every page these three terms. And also, you are the principals and teachers in the school. You need to know these three concepts. Today, even in COP26, they discuss about these three. This is the global village economics now. Mahatma Gandhi called them, it is the village economics in 1905. But now they have become a global village economics because United Nations, Pope Francis, all of them have taken a lead from these three. So now in order to educate your children in the school, you are not going to talk about Lavada Kose. You are not going to talk about Fratelli Puti. You are creating more trouble now. But now you talk about these three principles, that is the windows through which you enter. So you are going to funnel in all this information from two encyclicals and you are going to present it in Swadeshi principle, in Sarvodaya principle, in Swaraj principle. Nobody is going to reject it. You are going to be welcome in India. This is how you present. You are to blend. You have to blend with our national ethos. So that is why I am teaching all this. So anyway, Mahatma Gandhi principles are ecstasy, Gandhi and village economics. But today we call <laughs> our planet is the global village. So we can apply them. See, what is Swadeshi? Localism, neighborliness. Swaraj self-rule, inner rule, outer rule. Sarvodaya, movement of all, welfare of all. He wrote in 1909 in, in Swaraj, Swaraj. So this is Sarvodaya on solidarity. You read later on, I don't have time here. I've given everything you read and educate yourself. Swadeshi, that is universal fraternity. This is Swaraj, human ecology, ethics. Mahatma Gandhi wrote a hundred years ago, what happened to the bishops and what happened to the priests? Nobody cared for them. But today when Pope writes, everybody wants to talk about it. Even I came to the computer, I'm sitting here and I'm giving you retreat on that. But everything was contemplated in India, in ancient India. But nobody realized that. Anyway, two dimensional human described in the Bible is this Imago Dei, but we have forgotten that we are Imago Mundi. One is image of God, at the same time we have forgotten that we made out of soil. We've forgotten that. We never cared for that information. Because Adam was made from Adama, that is the Bible says. Adama is the soil. So Adam came from the soil, humus. In Latin, it's called humus. So, human came from humus. In Hebrew, Adam came from Adama. So, this thing we never contemplated. We contemplated only on Imago Dei. That is 146. God created in his own image. So, in Laudato Si Pope Francis writing, number 65. All right, you read it later on. 
said John Paul the second also writing about him one person how he became Imam of the Psalm 8 we read very often in the morning prayer is right? everybody remembers this text if I ask you nothing we remember we remember only this text we are created little, little less than an angel everybody knows it yeah this is what the Pope is writing 66 that is what we are discussing, the second with our neighbor. All right. Uh, okay, that's not it. Okay, this is Pope Francis writing, paragraph number 116, 106. You read later on what solidarity means, what social friendship means, what universal fraternity means. So all these terms will help you to relate with your brothers in the community, at large, in the congregation, and in the school system, at last, to the entire world. But anyway, the individualism made us uh, to really go self-interest approach. We are not going to common interest. We are supposed to go to common interest. That is our trajectory. But we are turning, I, that's why I told you in the beginning, we are on the process called devolution. Again, self-interest, individualism. But we have to go common interest. So Pope is writing very painfully. Fratelli to the 33. Brother, somebody wants to read. Next to is that. Yeah. Yeah. We fed ourselves on dreams of splendor. The mistake what we have made is pointing out what kind of mistakes we made so far? Addicted to all technology, addicted to economy, addicted to power, hierarchy, positions, caste system, all that. Okay, we fed? We, we fed ourselves on dreams of splendor and value and ended up consuming distraction, insularity, in and solitude. We gorged ourselves on rhetoric. And lost the taste of pandemic, prisoners of their virtual reality. We lost the taste and flavor of the truly real. The pain, uncertainty, and fear, and the realization of our own limitations, brought on by the pandemic, have only made it all the more urgent that we really ask our state of life. Our relationships, the organization of our societies, and ever on the meaning of our existence. Beautiful. So, this is the distractions actually, social archetypal roles, you know very well, no? They are not about what you are, it's about who you are. You should be more concerned. Who you are, that is more important. What you are is just a role, it's a role. Many people associate themselves with the room, then problem comes. Yes. He's a bishop. It's a role. When that person identifies, I am the bishop finished, he is ruined. That's it. He gets only distortion about himself. He has to differentiate. This is the role I am playing. And also brothers, priests should realize when you go and talk to a superior or a bishop, you are not attacking that person who he is. You are attacking the role, what he is. Yes. Sometimes immediately they identify themselves with the role. Who oh, is criticizing me like that? Etc. Etc. No. He is not criticizing you, what you are. He has the right to criticize and point out the mistake of the role. Actually, the person who is a bishop, he can go and sleep peacefully because he can tell, that is not me. He was pointing about the role I play. That is not me. He is not criticizing me. He is criticizing the role. That is how we should be able to see that. But it's a classical mistake business as usual model. We identify immediately with the role. No, he is accusing me and he is pointing. Or that I am that person. No, no, nobody is telling that. 
Actually, we should be also clear in the mind, the brothers and the priests also should be clear in the mind. You are not accusing the person who he is, you are accusing his role only. So immediately you can detach. Those who are in the powerful position should be detached. As a parish priest, I was a very successful parish priest myself. I feel so proud. Never got into trouble because this is the attitude I had from the beginning. Yes. When somebody comes and yells at me, I will tell him, he is not yelling at me, he is yelling at Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let him answer. I, I go and sleep. Go and have a nice drink and I sleep. He is doing I enjoy my life. Parish priest, even today I have a reputation in my life. Our jolly life of so completely I detach myself from the role. Role is the problem of that guy. That is not me. I am created to enjoy life, consume, reproduce, and adapt. That is the basic definition of life. I will explain later on. So that is how bishops, parish priests, provincials, mother superiors, generals, husband, wife, grandfather, all those people should detach themselves. Yeah. So never identify because you get a distortion about yourself. That's why people make big mistakes. Big mistakes. That is not you. All those pre-established roles, no? Roles become identified with the ego. But ultimately you lose yourself in them. Human interactions become impossible then. They become inauthentic. Dehumanized. Alienating. It takes you over. You play unconsciously. When a doctor you go there, he plays the role of a doctor. He forgets that he is a good human being. That's why he sees you as a patient where he can mint money. He doesn't see you as a human being. No. If he sees a human being, money is not involved there. See, that is the risk of roles, brothers. In fact, our religions, roles are bound. Roles are bound. That's why Jesus says, come with me yourself to your quiet place and get some rest. He's calling you out of the role play. Come and realize who you are. Come out what you are. Come to who you are. That is the invitation. All right, so we have failed in many things. Bible puts it nicely, so the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden towards the ground from which he has made. This text is the ultimate text. You will read it. It tells you who human beings are. Very sad. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth. That every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. The Lord regretted that he had made human beings on the earth. And his heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord decided to destroy. Okay, this is a checklist for today. You can examine your conscience or something. Uh, so, some peripheries are close to us. Periphery means some brothers are brambles. They are the lowest in our community. They have a name. He is a troublemaker. He is bad. We call him by different names. He is useless, uh, etc., etc. So those are the peripheries. Very close to us they are. In city centers or within our families or within our communities. Yes, there is a, an aspect of universal openness in love that is existential rather than ge geographical. It has to do with our daily efforts to expand our circle of friends to reach those who, even though they are close to me, I do not naturally consider a part of my circle of interest. We go very often in our religious and diocesan circles. Every brother or sister in need, when abandoned or ignored by the society in which I live becomes an existential foreigner, foreigner, outcast in other words, outcast. Even though born in the same country, even though 
is a member of the same community. They may be citizens with full rights, yet they are treated like foreigners in their own country, in their own community and congregation. Racism is a virus that quickly mutates and instead of disappearing, goes into hiding and lurks in waiting. You can read again and again and you can make your examination of conscience. Your homework is Rathalitruti 98. Read it about the disabled and the elderly in the community. 98 continues. I would like to see Pope Francis's writing in the same paragraph. I would like to mention some of those hidden exiles. It's a powerful language, isn't it? Very powerful language. He never hesitates. He doesn't think he is a pope when he writes all that. He writes naturally. That is the most my instinct. Wow. That's why the instinct is so powerful. If you go by logic, he would never be able to write this. Hidden exiles who are treated as foreign bodies in the society. Yeah. Today, brother, yesterday, nicely done that the uh, adoration, hymns, great stuff. So today also, the brother, I don't know which brother is doing, so today focuses on human beings. You can bring a lot of things, what is uh, fragmenting the human society, the problems we encounter in our real life situations. You can bring them to how can we fix. Don't create only problems. But you have to bring some solutions to that. So always you are entitled to express your frustrations in view of suggesting something good. In that way, you are justified. You are justified. So today we're going to see what you are going to do. I will, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that you will do very well. I have 100% confidence. So when we come back this afternoon, we will have a lighter session, lighter, fun-filled, lot of informative session itself.